Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, how to rock the boat safely. Things are okay in your life. You have an okay job with an okay boss. You have an okay apartment with an okay landlord. You have an okay relationship with your significant other. You feel okay about yourself. Nothing fantastic, nothing to write home about, but, you know, okay. Meaning, well, meaning, boring, ho-hum, joyless, routine. You feel like all you do is go through the motions, and you begin to wonder, is this all there is? And then you mentally slap yourself upside the head and say, well, hey, shape up. Some people don't have jobs at all, or homes or relationships or a halfway decent sense of self, so what the heck, I should just be quiet and not rock my boat. Things are okay. And then you wonder, six months down the line, why you find it so hard to get out of bed in the morning, and when did vegging in front of the TV become so darned attractive? <laughs> You're stuck. There's a fancy clinical diagnosis for you. Stuck. When people stop reaching and stretching and growing, they get stuck, just like your car. If you don't put your foot on the gas pedal, nothing happens. The motor is running, everything is in place, but the car isn't going anywhere. It's okay. I mean, not a bad thing, but certainly doesn't provide the fun or possibilities that come once you put your foot to the gas pedal. So, too, when people are stuck, it's not a bad thing but it sure doesn't measure up to what life is and can be all about. But why rock the boat, you ask? What guarantee do I have that if I do try to get things unstuck, they will be better? Maybe they'll only get worse. Then where would I be? Unstuck, all right, and miserable. An understandable fear, no doubt. It's certainly a possibility, one that keeps many people from growing. But it's a false fear. For there are many ways to grow safely and joyously. All you have to do is go about your growth in a conscious and deliberately constructive way. First of all, dream your dreams. Decide what would contribute to greater joy in your life, which is the true definition of growth. For example, a deeper love with your significant other, perhaps a nicer apartment or a more rewarding job. Daydream. Fantasize, visualize what that would be like. And then sit down with paper and pen and figure out what would be the likely steps in allowing that dream to happen. Secondly, do your research. Do you have the necessary information, skills, and tools to enable you to accomplish your first step? For example, if your dream is a more re rewarding job, first of all, you have to figure out what that might be. More rewarding certainly implies not only a job that would fulfill your heart and soul, but also one that would afford you a better lifestyle, a more joyous and supportive work environment. Have co-workers and bosses who enjoy working together and are appreciative of your input, and so on. Take the time and effort to figure out the specifics of what that job might be, what it might look like. Thirdly, take small steps. The easiest way not to scare yourself half to death is to take small steps to growth. It's just like putting your foot on the gas pedal. If you slam your foot down and floor the pedal, you'll go zooming off at a speed that makes crashing into something highly likely. If instead you gently give a little gas to the pedal, you'll start going forward without terrifying or endangering yourself. So, perhaps the first step in creating a more rewarding job for yourself would be to learn a new skill, or maybe upgrade an old one. Take small steps. Larger ones will become more comfortable as you succeed with the smaller steps. And fourthly, keep moving. Evaluate your progress. Make whatever changes are appropriate and take another small step. The secret to growth is to keep moving. Many people find it helpful to give themselves deadlines, for example, I'll learn the new computer program by January. Whatever. You'd be amazed at how much growth can be accomplished 
one small step at a time. Being stuck is equivalent to slow death. We humans were not meant to stand in place. Life, oh life, it's so full and rich and just waiting for you to enjoy it to the hilt. Take the risk of rocking your okay boat in a safe manner and give yourself the joy of reaching, stretching, and growing into the happiness, success, and love you truly deserve. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, I Survived COVID-19, What Now? Finding Happiness and Success in a Post-COVID World. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com. Or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. And until next time, be well and take care.